Now to that new study making headlines about your dog. More than 43 million Americans have pups. A lot of opinions about whether your pet should be in the bedroom or on the bed when you're sleeping. This morning, the Mayo Clinic has answers to Dr. Jennifer Ashton and Morty Mason. This is my Mason. Oh my gosh, he's got your lipstick on top yeah, of his head. Yeah, I know, head. I see that. Hello there, Mason. <laughs> so tell us about this study. So yeah. interesting study, they did at the Mayo Clinic and they looked at a small group of people, one person with one dog, dogs of all sizes, and then put activity trackers on them, like Fitbits, to measure sleep activity. They put a Fit Bark on the dogs mm. to measure the dog's sleep activity and followed them over, over a seven day period. And the findings, while they weren't amazing, they certainly weren't bad. They found that Human sleep quality was not significantly disrupted if you had a dog in the bedroom, but if you had the dog actually in your bed, it was oh, a little bit worse. Sure. But again, very interesting study, the first study of its kind to really look at, at sleep quality when dogs are in the room. So medically speaking though, the pros and cons? Well listen, it depends on three big things. It depends on the size of the dog, sure. the size of the bed, and the size of the person sleeping with the dog. And of course, they need to do this study with cats, they need to do the study with multiple mm -hmm. dogs. Obviously, if the human quality of sleep is disrupted, that is a hard line in the sand, in my opinion, medically, because our sleep is already not so great as a country. Um, but I think if the dog provides comfort and actually you get a better night's sleep, then, yeah. then that's good for, definitely good for human well, what health. What about Mason's quality of sleep? Well, listen, if, you know, yeah. if you talk to veterinarians about this, they will say that most animals like to sleep in the bedroom. There's some controversy about whether or not evolutionarily dogs are truly pack animals, whether they want to sleep with their alpha, whether you're really their alpha, because they're so domesticated now. But I would say common sense applies here. Caution with toy breeds. They yeah. can be crushed. They can roll, roll off the bed and be injured. So again, just like, not unlike an infant. Okay, so what's, the sleeping, what's the sleeping arrangement here? So this is, this is actually my dog. He's two. He's a Morky named Mason. He's actually on Instagram. You can yeah. follow him. Um, oh. And he was crate trained. I crate trained him from day one. He loved his yeah. crate. He slept in my bedroom in the crate, no problem. Right after he turned one, I put him on the bed one day and I noticed he, he curled up like a cinnamon roll, Robin, mm. and he looked so darn comfortable that I thought, gosh, maybe he'll sleep an extra hour if he sleeps on my bed and we never went back. Now again, he's 10 pounds, yeah. he sleeps at my feet, <laughs> and I think we both sleep pretty well. Oh, he's right? adorable. He's yeah, it's funny. just, it's not one size fits all. You gotta, you gotta figure it out. And, and it does have a lot to do with the size of the dog, too. And the size and of the person. person. And yeah. the si size of the bed. Yeah. So certainly, you know, we love our pets in this country. So I'd like to see this study done with cats. But um, for now, this guy's in my bed and we're both sleeping great. <laughs> Good to know. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.